Joins me now, live from Gillette, with more on Gerard, who cannot wait to get started. Rochi? Yeah. Yeah, Steve, I think everyone's excited. Lots of excitement here in Foxborough. A lot of congrats and encouraging you know, posts on social media today as well from current players uh, of that know Mayo and had Mayo here as a defensive coordinator to former teammates like Kevin Folk, who was a Patriot from 1999 to 2011, had four years with Gerard Mayo, spoke with him this afternoon and asked him when he knew Mayo would be a head coach. There were certain guys that you knew like Mike Vrabel, you knew he was going to be a football coach. Gerard Mayo, you knew he was going to be a football coach. What made you feel that he was going to be a coach? Uh, coach on the field. You knew that Rod, Gerard was going to be a coach whenever he get done playing because he was like a coach playing, and it, it was crazy. How difficult do you think will it be to replace or be the next guy after Bill Belichick? Can't think about it. Can't you, you can't let that be lingering in the back of your head. You just have to be you. And do you. You can't be Bill. You gotta be you. And I and I think he understands that. I think he knows that. Yeah, and I think he does know that, Stephen. One thing you and I have seen over the 30-plus years of covering this Patriots team is you, like, almost like Kevin Falk. You could tell in the locker room, you could tell on the field, guys that were going to be head coaches. You could just see Yeah. And Gerard Mayo was one of those guys, along with Mike Vrabel and others. The E demands respect. There's no question about that, Danny. And I will say this. Mayo's going to coach with a lot of love in his heart, but sometimes it's going to be tough love. Devin, Lisa, back to you.